Hello everyone. Um, I'm finally reviving this series after um, ages being dormant. And we're going to be starting uh, a new section of uh, physics. We're going to steer away from mechanics and we're going to go on to optics, which is the study of light. So after this, uh, we should know the properties of light rays, which is going to be this first video. Uh, we're also going to be learning the two different kinds of reflection. So uh, you have these things called diffuse reflection and regular reflection. We also know how to draw these things known as ray diagrams, which tracks the path of light for both concave and convex mirrors. And we'll also be able to calculate what's known as the focal length of these kinds of mirrors. Uh, I'm also sitting downstairs this time, so if you can hear animals going on, it's because there's a bunch of birds outside my window. Anyways, um, one contested definition in physics is what actually is light? Well, light is what's known as a form of electromagnetic energy. So any form of energy that travels at the speed of light is considered to be electromagnetic. We will properly define what electromagnetic is when we get to the waves chapter, but for now you can just accept that light is this thing known as electromagnetic energy. We've also defined light to be the fastest thing that is observable in our universe. The way we denote the speed of light is with a lowercase c, and the approximate value of it is given as 3 by 10 to the 8 meters per second, so 300 million. But exactly, it's defined as 299792498 meters per second, but for, for most scenarios, you can take it as 3 by 10 to the 8 because the decimal points uh, sometimes don't matter. When we get onto um, especially modern physics, you will have to use all of these. Now, we're going to get onto the properties of light rays. So light rays will naturally travel in straight lines, so they can never bend or curve. We will see that they can bend in a way. Um, we begin onto a thing called refraction, which is the bending of light. But if there's nothing in a way, so for instance, this light going through uh, this door, for instance, it will always travel in a straight line. Now, what we can see here is actually the light rays coming in through the door are actually split up. So each of these light rays are going a different direction. There are three different ways that light can travel, or a set of uh, light rays can travel relative to each other. If they travel linearly, they are known as a parallel set of beams, so if the three of them are going within the same direction, like parallel lines for instance. And then depending on if they're going away or going towards a point, it can be converging or diverging. So in this instance, if you go from left to right, which is the direction the light is traveling, um, you can see that they're diverging because it looks sort of like a duck's foot and all the beams are sort of going away from each other. But if instead the direction was reversed and light is actually going from, say, a source here through the door, then they'd be converging because they are going towards a certain point.